Which mountain are we climbing on? Life doesn't always have valleys, neither does it have flat ground. Sometimes we encounter mountains that need to be climbed, but are we climbing the right mountain? One mountain has Jesus as our shepherd climbing with us. He makes sure we can get to the top. He doesn't leave our side. The other mountain is not where our shepherd is. He never instructed us to climb this other mountain, but we decided to do it on our own. It seemed like an easier climb, not too difficult or challenging. It wouldn't cause us to develop any kind of muscle power, meaning spiritual power. That would lay dormant because this mountain does not require spiritual strength or endurance to climb it. It was the easiest choice to make. We wanted our shepherd to come along with us. Why didn't he just follow me? He saw where I was going. He knew I chose this mountain to climb. He didn't follow through. He didn't show up when I needed him. There were some areas in this mountain that were tough, and I expected my shepherd to come help me. I am so disillusioned by my shepherd's lack of response. Should I even believe him anymore? How can I trust him if he abandons me this way? He saw me step foot on my mountain, and he should have taken his staff to guide me along. Well, if he is going to turn his back on me, I'll continue to climb this mountain on my own and do whatever I please. Which mountain are we climbing on? The one where our shepherd is by our side, interceding for us at all times, encouraging us to keep climbing because he is there with us? When we get tired, he is there, never ever leaving our side. He helps us develop spiritual muscles along the way so it gets easier and easier because of our faith in His love and strength. The mountain doesn't seem as daunting because my shepherd holds me up when my foot is about to slip. He catches me when I start falling. He sets my feet upon solid rock from which I stand. Capital R, Rock. I trust Him along the way of life's journey, and if any roots of bitterness show up, he tells me to pull them out before they spring up everywhere. My shepherd knows this mountain well. I have trust in him because he says I can do all things through him. I will continue to climb my shepherd's mountain. There is beauty everywhere because my shepherd is with me. He makes all things beautiful. His light radiates the skies and my soul. Thank you for being my shepherd. Thank you for helping me climb your mountain to grow spiritual strength. Thank you. There are resting places along the way that are breathtaking, miraculous, and wonderful. I am your precious sheep, and I will follow my glorious shepherd on your mountain and no other. Isaiah 2.4 The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it, and many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall decide disputes for many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more.